So, Dr. Henry Wu is by far one of the most polarizing figures in the entire Jurassic Park franchise. He is one of the few characters from Jurassic Park that has shown up in Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Initially, he may come across as innocent because of his intelligence, but as time does progress and he opens up a bit more, you really get the true dark side of his character. Now, in my eyes, the most interesting part about Dr. Henry Wu is that he never shies away from the public. Public eye. In Jurassic Park, he was very open with Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, and Elise Sattler, and then in Jurassic World, he was talking with Vic Hoskins and Maz Rani. Then here we are in Fallen Kingdom and at the dinosaur auctions, he is out there in the open not caring about anything. Everybody seems to be well aware that he made all of this chaos. We had two incidents on Ezon Nublar consisting of his dinosaurs, and then in Fallen Kingdom, of course, he made the Indoraptor. So, in a very strange way, Dr. Henry Wu has killed a bunch of people off. Yet still, over the last 25 years, Dr. Henry Wu has managed to escape every situation he's been in. And somehow, whether it's somebody else or it's self-funded, he always has a proper amount of cash to conduct his own work. In Fallen Kingdom though, despite having a laboratory inside the Lockwood Manor, he will probably find a way to stay out of the headlines. We know for a fact that the Indoraptor's dead body is out there exposed to the public and that may cause some danger, but if one very minor event did not take place, Dr. Henry Wu in Jurassic World 3 may very well have been caught. You must assume after working all these years inside the Lockwood Manor, his name or something connected to his identity would be down there. During investigations of the entire Lockwood Manor, they would go down into the basement and find his name or identity, and legal actions would be taken. But out of all these dinosaurs, we can thank Blue for letting Dr. Henry Wu off the hook again, triggering his laboratory to explode that now gets rid of any and all evidence that Dr. Henry Wu was involved. It is just one more example of him finding a way to stay out of trouble. He has been able to pull it off for the last 25 years, but maybe this will all change in Jurassic World 3. If you guys had to bet, will Dr. Henry Wu face his consequences in Jurassic World 3, or will he find a way to stay out of trouble once again? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.